Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be continuing the OSINT journey. We're gonna be installing another VM for my OSINT lab, which is called Trace Labs. So if you guys are ready for the video, let's get into it. Just remember, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's jump into it. All right, folks, so here we are on tracelabs.org. So if you come onto the website, you can see, you know, they're phenomenal folks over there. They help find missing people using OSINT. And there's so much cool stuff that you can use with uh, open source intelligence. So I just want to continue this journey while it's hot in my head, in my mind. So yeah, so if you come here, you know, they're doing OSINT for, for good. And if we come down here, there's CTFs. They do some fun stuff over there. You know, DEF CON, they were a part of DEF CON and so many other things. So this is amazing. So if we come all the way down, you can, you know, read their site. You can come all the way down and, you know, thank you for all the sponsors, cool deal. If you click on uh, TL OSINT VM, we'll come to their VM, their OVA that we wanna download and install. That's what we're gonna be doing today. So you can see that the download is right here. We can click on this first link that it will bring us to GitHub right, the 20, April 2024, so it's pretty pretty new, their release, and you can download their VirtualBox, you can download their VM. So we're gonna be doing this in VMware, so I wanna go ahead and click on VMware, okay? So I'm gonna click on that download, and we're gonna go ahead and save that right to my downloads, that's fine for me, okay? So once this is done downloading, let me go ahead and make sure I can see the download. And once this is done downloading, we'll resume and continue. All right, so the download was completed. And I just wanna go over the, some of these release notes. Consider this a maintenance release. So just what to expect if you have it today and you wanna update it, you know, catch it up with the latest version of Kali, you know, install the scripts that have been uh, stripped down to include some Tor browsers, you know, set the stage for the future focus on guidance and resources. So that's pretty good. So let me come over here. Let's come up to the top and I want to go ahead and open up our download here. And here's my download right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just open with, I want to extract all that's fine. And I'm going to extract it right here where it's at and then I'll move it later. So we'll go ahead and extract this. It shouldn't take too long, maybe a couple seconds. And uh, yeah, so the download is right here. So we can double click into here. We can see the VM right here and we can see all the files for VMware. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and back out one. Let's go back one or, or not. Let's come back to downloads. And I wanna go ahead and rename this really quick just so, and that's fine for me. And what I wanna, I wanna do is I wanna take this I want to copy this and I want to throw it into my documents and I have a virtual machine directory here all the way at the bottom. And I want to go ahead and make a, I'm just going to throw it right here. Okay. So I want to copy that right here. So it's TL, I want to capitalize this. So trace labs dash OSINT. Okay. So that should be good for me. So now what we're going to do is I want to go ahead and open up my VMware workstation, which is right here. And I want to go ahead and open file open. Okay. And I want to go ahead and browse out to where that VM is, where I just put it, which is in virtual machines, oh, not there, virtual machines, and then T lab. And right here is my VMX file. Okay. So let's open that up. And I want to go ahead and throw this up top here to my OSINT VMs. And I'm also going to rename this. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take out all this, put dash VM. And I'm just going to go ahead and capitalize all this. So TL dash OSINT. OSINT. Okay, so that should be fine for me. So now we have, you know, some of these settings here. So I want to go ahead and open up the settings for like memory. 
I want to allocate more memory than this because I have it. Obviously, work what width you have. So I want to go ahead and allocate eight gigs. I want to double that. Okay, so NAT is totally fine for me and everything else should be good. So I'm just updating the RAM in my case. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit OK and power this up. And if you're using VirtualBox, there is a VirtualBox install. So it's super simple. Download the OVA, double click on it, and you should be good to go. So I guess it runs on Kali Linux. I haven't really tinkered with the new version. I, I was playing around with this many years ago or a few years ago, maybe a year and a half, two years ago. And then there was another one called like Busca, Busca or Buscar or something like that. I'm guessing because Spanish in Buscar, I think is like look for or look. So now, you know, we have a username and password. I think it's OSINT OSINT if I, if I remember. I think that's it. Okay, looks like they didn't give me no error. So looks like that's good to go. All right, cool deal. So this is Trace Labs, right? This is the Trace Labs VM. So what I want to do first before we do anything, I want to go ahead and take a quick snapshot just for best practice. So I want to take a snapshot and I want to put fresh install, right? Fresh install. And then I don't even know what today. I think it's today's 5-12. 2024, I think. Let me see. Yep, today's May 12th. Okay. All right. So, description, I want to put the same and take a quick snapshot. Okay. So, now that snapshot is taken, should be good. We can go ahead and come up here, manage, or I think, is it still doing a snapshot? Let's see. It's good. So, if we go to snapshot manager, we are here. Okay, cool. So the first thing I always do anytime, if it's Kali, if it's Ubuntu, anything, I always do updates, right? So they used to have a little update. Let's see if they have that updater anymore. Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like it. Uh, install tools.sh. All right, no sweat. So let's just open up a terminal. Let's make this bigger. We can do a sudo su osint o s i n t, and then I'm just going to do apt dash get update, and just make sure everything is up to date. And this is just what I do. And then I'll just do an upgrade, just in case it's outdated. So let's just see what version it's running. Let's go ahead and open up another tab while we're waiting for that to cook. And what we can do is run cat etc os release and it is running 24.1 i think 24.2 is the latest and greatest i think let's go ahead and check that really quick it's google cali.org and download get cali let's see vm oh no i guess uh 24.1 is the latest and greatest okay cool deal Sweet. So we are on the latest and greatest. Cool. So let's come back here. This looks good. And let's just do a quick upgrade. Yes. And we'll let that cook. So, all right. I'll worry about that later. So let's see if we can have anything. Um, so now when we do all the updates and all that stuff, you can take another snapshot just like so. Right click, snapshot, take a snapshot. And I'll just put like after, after updates. This is something I always do. I don't really do this on camera, but yeah, this is what I do. Just in case, you know, something God forbid happens to the VM or you break something, you know, you take a quick snapshot and that should be good. So that concludes, I think, this video on, you know, there's one thing I want to include. Actually, one more thing. Let me see if, is there Cherry Tree on here? Right, no. So let's go ahead and install Cherry Tree. And if you guys want this, I, I, I've been building out something because I've been doing some OSINT and tinkering around with some stuff, as you guys can see in the last couple of videos. Um, if you guys want this, but hang tight, watch to the end, and, and if you want it, uh, you hit me up and I'll get it over to you. So let's do a apt install cherry tree. Let's 
get this really quick. And hopefully this uh, works. And now we can go ahead and see if Cherry Tree is installed. Yep, cool. All right, so Cherry Tree is there now. And if you guys aren't familiar with Cherry Tree, what all it is is a note-taking a tool. You can install this on Windows as well. I have it on my Windows machine, but I just, you know, obviously while I'm here, while it's a new VM, might as well just uh, do that. So what I want to do is I want to bring something over from my local machine and give me one second. Let me uh, go there and let me just drag and drop it. So let me uh, drag this, bring it over here. So and it's probably going to be really small. So here is some stuff I built out in Cherry Tree. So for OSINT, oh, not that. Let's see if I, uh, let's go ahead and right click, open with other app, and let's see if I can find Cherry Tree right there. Okay, open. That looks more like it, okay. All right, so if we see here, we have cover letter, we have this uh, disclaimer OSINT, OSINT, Let's see if I can make this bigger. So, you know, say for example, the work, we're gonna say Pat, and the contact name is Joe. Uh, contact phone number is whatever, 555-555, whatever. Um, whatever, email, start date, blah, 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 blah. Right, so within here, I build out. So say for example, work done method. You know, we can say, okay, this is used by uh, Trace Labs right labs vm we can see okay have i been pwned any information that you found on have i been pwned information obtained through search engines for example google uh social media employee details login pages that you found for the client internet portals maybe a login portal media and so on and so forth so i have i have this Google Maps and images, you know, because OSINT is, there's so much information. And I was just trying to build something out for my OSINT process. And I was like, okay, if people want this, they can uh, they can check it out. So the next one is disclaimer pen test, right? So, you know, if you have something going on a pen test, same kind of thing, and so on and so forth. Vulnerabilities, pen test, conclusion, and remediation, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, this is just something that, you know, I have... You know, if you guys want it, I can share it with you guys, but just put it in the comments below, say I would like it, or just, you know, put it in the comments below so I know that you're serious. And yeah, this is something I built out for recently for all my OSINT stuff that I've been doing. So thank you so much. I'm really enjoying the OSINT journey. If you guys are on the same track, hit me up and uh, let's continue the journey together. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share.